Breakfast After the Bell is a program to make sure that more kids access school breakfast. So most schools offer school breakfast, but they offer it before the start of the school day. So what Breakfast After the Bell does is moves that breakfast service time during the actual instructional day um, so kids can eat after they get to school rather than coming early. I often talk about how hunger is very different in our country. Um, growing up, we thought about hunger as famished, third world countries being very apparent of a child who's malnourished. Um, now it's the student who can't sit still in class. It's the student who's having outbursts and getting into fights in the, in the playground. Um, they're really lashing out and they're the ones who are getting suspended and getting taken out of classes and needing remediation. The research is really astounding around school breakfast. When kids eat school breakfast, it, they have healthier dietary intakes. Also, their academics are impacted, so kids who eat closer to instructional time perform better, um, have better comprehension, are less disruptive in class, so it really affects their behavior, their social-emotional health, really has a broad impact on, on all aspects of children. New York State now has a requirement that high poverty schools must offer breakfast after the bell. So schools with 70% or more of students who qualify for free or reduced price meals must offer breakfast after the start of the instructional day. The reason we offer breakfast after the start of the school day with breakfast after the bell programs is to make sure that we're capturing kids. So a lot of times we're asking especially older kids who are walking or kids who have um, younger students that they're taking care of in the morning to get to class early, to get to school early, when we're already struggling for them to get to school on time. So making sure that they have breakfast as a part of the school day, um, rather than something extra that they have to do in the morning is an essential piece. Another piece is stigma. So in a lot of our rural schools, we see students who have to get off the school bus in order to access breakfast, while the rest of their students wait on the school bus to come in. So you're really asking students to kind of stand up and identify themselves as needing to eat school breakfast. And as kids get older, that stigma becomes really apparent. And, and so kids choose not to eat breakfast, to fit in, um, to make it fit their lifestyles. The move to make high poverty schools offer breakfast after the bell, I think is a really strategic move to make sure that we're reaching more kids with school breakfast. Because breakfast after the bell is a proven way to increase school breakfast participation. Right there. Yeah.